Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Sorry for the shakiness here. Today is Thursday, July 4th, Independence Day, a day for celebration. Um, the Silver Lining Circus Camp will be here um, during the day today from uh, 8.30 to 4 at the Parish House. Um, tomorrow, July 5th, the church office will be closed. Um, but the Silver Lining Circus Camp will be there. So um, Saturday, July 6th, all day at the Parish House, the Silver Lining Circus Camp will be um, in the Parish House or on the grounds. <clears throat> Sunday, July 7th, will be our first outdoor worship service of the season, weather permitting, of course. Um, it'll be live streamed, as always. Um, please bring your own folding chair. Um, if you have one, there is no coffee hour. Uh, Monday through Friday, the Silver Lining Circus Camp will be at the Parish House and on the grounds. Um, Wednesday, July 10th, from 9 to 11, uh, the Garden Friends will be here um, on the grounds. I will be out of the office all day on that day. Um, Verna and I will be attending a funeral on Cape Cod um, on Wednesday, July 10th. Thursday, July 11th, I will be going to Bedford Falls for our monthly worship service. And then Sunday, July 14th, we'll be worshiping outside again. Carol has also given me this. Um, there is always cold bottled water in the parish house, in the refrigerator. Um, if you need a cold beverage during or right after the church service, please feel free to help yourself. Um, and the coffee hour signups for September are up and available in the parish house. Uh, the remaining signups for the fall will be available later in the summer. Please volunteer to help out. One of the most important things about our worship services um, is coffee hour. That time of socialization and that time to um, just hang out with friends and chat and um, maybe get to know each other a little bit better. Um, it's important that we make uh, that we make newcomers feel welcome and invite them to come join us for coffee hour. Um, I can't stress that enough is that sometimes when we get there, we get tied up talking to our friends and we forget that there are new people here and we need to make sure that they feel welcome too. Um, it's something that we've been pretty good at, but every once in a while we may slip a little bit. So we want to make sure that all of those who come to visit us, especially in the summertime when we have, we have more visitors than usual, that they feel welcome to come and worship with us. So as I mentioned, it's the 4th of July today, and at 10 o'clock uh, this morning, the Amher town of Amherst has their annual 4th of July parade. The Milford Amherst Rotary Club will be marching in that parade, or walking in that parade if you prefer. Um, I might be difficult to spot unless you know what to look for. I'll just tell you that it might be a little foul but I hope to see many of you there, and I hope to see a lot of pictures of the, um, especially the Rotarians that are coming. There's going to be an awful lot of um, interesting costumes being worn. So, as I said, um, I might not be easily identifiable, but um, look for, I look forward to seeing all of you on the sidelines, um, and I look forward to laughing along with you. Um, there's, there's, we're into the summertime and it's kind of calmed down out there. It's kind of nice. Um, the new signs that are up, now if you haven't noticed, our, our new signs are all up in the front of the church. And I put some, um, we've put some notices on there that work really well. Uh, one of the things we noticed on the signs immediately is the smaller letters, the tabs that go into the sign are really small and don't go very deep. So <laughs> if you see letters fall off, Make sure somebody lets us know so we can go back and fix them. Um, while we were putting the sign, we were putting the uh, notices up on the signs the other day, the, um, I closed the door and all of the letters fell off. <laughs> so it was kind of fascinating. Um, I hope many of you are taking some time to enjoy this beautiful weather that we've been having. 
And I hope that um, during this time, vacation is an important part. Vacation is an important part of our lives, and it's an important part of our mental health, is to take some time for ourselves and do something that just for the sheer fun of it, nothing else, not, you know, no, no great agendas, no anything, just have some fun. If, even if that means just sitting under a tree and reading a book, um, which, by the way, I love to do, um, it's important that we do that on a regular basis and take time for ourselves. There's been a lot of talk lately about self-care. Um, I don't really care for that line, that phrase, but um, when I was in seminary, both times, um, there was an awful lot of talk about making sure we had self-care. Um, most of my pastor friends um, take Fridays off. Some take Mondays, but most of them take Fridays off, and they, they, they generally refer to that as their Sabbath time. Um, they don't do any business. They don't do. They don't check their emails. They don't do anything that has to do with related to worship, except worship themselves. I have on occasion gone to the synagogue. I find that I find the service at the synagogue very, very soul enriching um, on Friday nights, um, and I, and I enjoy that when I do. I don't do it very often, but sometimes it's just, it's just nice to sit and let someone else do the work. Um, and it gives me a chance to really spend some time, spend some time with, with God and with myself. Um, and that's important. It's important for all of us. Um, and whether you, whether you go to worship for that or whether you um, take a walk in the woods or whether you go sit at, sit at a beach somewhere, it's important to take that time to yourself. Um, you know, we tend to be busy all the time. And as the busyness overwhelms us, we can get overwhelmed and we can create some serious, serious health problems. So it's important that we take time, especially this time of year when it's so pleasant, um, to, to do something for ourselves, to recreate. To, so with that, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, it's kind of pleasant here. The wonderful thing about this, where my office is located and where Carol's office is located is it, it probably won't get really hot in this building until, you know, maybe mid-July. Um, but it's very pleasant in here. Um, the window's open, of course, and I can hear, I can hear the garden friends out there working in the garden. And you can hear birds chirping and trains blowing, and it's just kind of very pleasant. So until I see you again, take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other, and God bless.